uh, Mungu awabariki sasa nichukue nafasi hii uh, niite waziri wetu wa defense uh, waziri Duare karibu Mheshimiwa naibu wa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya mawaziri viongozi kutoka KDF na Ministry of Defense tukiwa na PS wetu Patrick Mariro wajumbe gavana wa jimbo hili la Nyandarwa naibu wa rais yangu itakuwa ni machache kwa sababu sisi tumekuja kuomboleza and to give our last respect to the mother a dear mother of our vice cdf lieutenant general mwangi na familia yake kwa sababu eh, your excellency sisi tunakushukuru sana kwa sababu umewakilisha commander in chief of the Kenya Defense Forces who is the president he is out of the country kama angekuwa angekuwa hapa lakini kwa vile wewe uko we the family and members both rank and file and the leadership of Kenya Defense Forces we are very grateful for you to be here and be part of our family as we mourn Mama Teresia. Sisi, Your Excellency, we want just to assure you and the country, working with our colleagues in Interior and other security agencies, that we have an absolute constitutional mandate to protect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of our country na tutakuhakishia kwamba ndani na nje sisi usiku na mchana our officers the leadership led by general francis ogola we want to make sure that you and the president and all the other colleagues in cabinet and government that you lead will have the opportunity to transform our country socially economically by us maintaining the peace and security within our country and within the region. You have chance to kumalizia ofisi ya Lieutenant General Mwangi na yangu zinaangaliana. He is my closest neighbor at the defense headquarters. And I have worked very closely with the two vice CDFs I have worked very closely when I became a cabinet secretary with General Francis Ogola. And when he became the CDF, I have the opportunity to have worked with Lieutenant General Mwangi the last, I think, four or five months. And uh, I want to tell the people of uh, Naragua here, I also had the opportunity to work with your leaders here in Daragua. I joined the parliament many years ago when I was a member of parliament with Mwishimwa Kioni. So if you ask me about Mwishimwa Kioni, I can write a book. <laughs> My only advice was, in Daragua, na Nyandarwa, last parliament, wakati nilitoka leader of majority nilikuwa na kiti inaitwa ranking member nilikuwa mzee ya bunge ya chemba na kwa vile nimekaa miaka mingi nilikuwa napatia mawaidha wa bunge wewe vile mimi naona utabiri wa hewa ya hapa siasa wewe ningekuambia uende hivi so among the many people i counseled and advised wawili walikuwa wametoka hapa na walikuwa karibu na mimi kiti changu na yao ukiangalia bunge ilikuwa karibu 
ilikuwa ni mheshimiwa Kioni na mheshimiwa Kimunya ilikuwa anamwambia unajua hii mlima mimi nimefanya the first person who brought me to Ndaragwa constituency in 2011 2012 campaign was former president Uhuru Kenyatta so since then ni bwana jua hii Ndaragwa lakini siku anajua hii Ndaragwa sasa tena imeleta mtu ako na jina kama ya deputy president anaitwa Gashagwa na nilimwambia deputy president hapa huyu Gashagwa asipofanya kazi mzuri hapa atakuharibia jina <laughs> so huyu he has no choice huyu lazima afanyie but this constituency and this county has also produced very very good generals in KDF you saw a general retired Kibuchi I have also worked with him for about I think eight months or close so I can I can see the leadership of General Kibuchi the same with the left hand general uh, Mwangi and then general Njoroge and many others nafikiri iliyobaki wa excellency mimi nilifanya kazi na mheshimiwa Kibaki mheshimiwa Uhuru na sasa mimi nafanya kazi na nyinyi so i can rate all the three governments in one year despite the global issues the global unajua kuna vitu zingine si at, atuishi peke yetu tunaishi katika jamii na nchi zingine za dunia but if you give a scorecard to our government in many spheres your excellency we are on the right track and we will work with you but those of us who are in the security sector with the generals we will make sure day in day out our country is safe our country is secure with those many many remarks is now my duty and privilege to invite our only deputy president the honorable his excellency uh, gashagwa to come and to our dear mother mama teresia